Greetings, this is Priestess Ifa Manjashola. Yes, it's been a long time. I should have left you without a dope beat to step to, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been on a five-month hiatus. Um, if some of you guys know that I am um, a teacher on in this mentorship, BSN, I mentor under uh, Priestess Oshun Fun K. And you guys, you know I'm her apprentice, and I've been hella, hella, hella busy. So please forgive me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some Dragon Bud Sage here. You got that? You feel that? Let's cleanse the energy. Let's cleanse what's going on here. Um, the ancestors has been on my ass to get back to you guys. So I'm back with these readings. I'm going to go ahead and use oracle cards and tarot cards. But I think I'm going to go into later on, you know, advance to other other readings that I could do, which will be with cowrie shells, with bones. So you guys let me know what you're interested in having um, me do other readings on. And we'll go from there, okay? But let me shut up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start with these Zodiac readings, okay? For the month of October. Um, it's mid-month, so let's do the mid-month readings for October and see what energy is popping off, okay? Alright, my lovely Sag, my fiery Sagittarius. It is your time. It is your reading now. Let's go ahead and get started on you guys to see what the ancestors and the messages they have for you for mid-month August, okay? Great at Google, please send me know the messages and the energies that Sagittarius need to know about for mid-month August 2021. Thank you so much, you Google. Ashe, ashe, yo. Ashe, ashe, yo. Ashe, ashe, yo. Sagittarius. Great at Google, please let us know about Sagittarius, what's going on with them for August, mid-month August 2021. I'm filming this on a Friday the 13th. You guys have been having a weird day. You guys have been having some a bad luck, some juju going on. What's up? Let me know. As for me, I've been having hella downloads, hella ringing in the ear, crazy visions. I don't think there's anything bad for me. I think it was just a lot of information that's been spread and bestowed upon me for the day. So let me know how your Friday the 13th went, okay? Alright Sagittarius, let's see what the ancestors have for you. Let's see what messages they have for you at this time. Okay. So, I'm, one thing I hear is that um, the ancestors have been speaking to some of y'all, but y'all have not been listening to the messages. Okay. You guys have... <sighs> Oof. Okay. So the first card that flipped over was the four of swords here. So you guys have been doing some meditation and your prayers. Okay, and this is good. But you guys have been getting downloads and stuff like that. But you guys haven't been using, you know, your intuition and using the downloads that you guys have been having. Okay. A lot of this has to do with your foundation. A lot of this has to do with your partnership that you have. Okay. So a lot of a lot of times this has to do with just basically how you're leveling up spiritually as well. Okay. You guys are basically just fighting against yourself. All right. And this is causing you not to have victory. You're fighting against what you feel you think is right versus what you're seeing in your meditations and what you're seeing in your dreams. Okay. But you need to use your intuition and do what you need to do. The messages are there for you. I heard that. I heard that. You guys aren't listening with what the ancestors are saying to you, with your most high, with the what your higher self is saying to you. You guys are thinking in your own mind, in the 3D emotions. You guys are thinking with the energy of this earth versus your higher self. You guys got to get out your own feelings, okay? Just because it doesn't look like what you think it looks like doesn't mean it's not for you, okay? You guys need to go ahead and just like buckle down and gear up and use the magic and the energy and the power that you have. A lot of you guys are magicians, okay? A lot of you guys, the air ancestors want you to go ahead and come into the power that you have and manifest the things that you want, okay? It's time to turn those thoughts around that you have, those misconceptions that you have, those things that were taught to you that are not truths. Okay, there's nothing wrong with doing magic. There's nothing wrong with meditating. There's nothing wrong that you have visions and downloads. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, utilize that. This is your gift. This is a part of your bloodline. Okay, 
let go of traditional ways that they're telling you know that you were taught just because big mama say it's evil that don't mean it's evil it's not witchcraft it's power it's a part of our bloodline it's in our blood it's in your blood of what you need to do so cut out those annotations that you have that it's wrong cut off that negative thinking just cut it off cut it out okay you have these gifts for a reason all right stand stand strong and stand firm and your spirituality stand strong and be focused okay spiritual knowledge and emotional knowledge are two different things okay so master what you need to do because this is going to help elevate you all right this is going to help give you everything that you need everything that you want not only for yourself but for your family for your bloodline for your ancestors look at your ancestors sitting right there watching you look at for your bloodline from the young to the old this is going to help you guys okay you're going to be the shifting that your family and your bloodline needs okay so just master yourself balance yourself and balance your temperament okay and be patient with yourself be patient with yourself all right a lot of you guys are operating off of emotion Maybe you got, some of you guys got hurt off of church people. You guys probably got church hurt. You probably got hurt off of people that so-called call themselves spiritual. Nah. You a whole different vibration, my love. You a whole different vibration, my G. You are nothing like those people. Okay? You a whole different vibration, a whole different energy. So just move forth in that. And trust in yourself and your intuition because you're very powerful. And trust in your power. All right, I know it's better, easier said than done, but you got this, little by little, okay? But don't doubt that still voice that you have. Don't doubt it, Sag. It's there for a reason. Some of you guys, when you meditate, you need to you need a journal where you could write things down, okay? Even if you don't want to face it then at that time, or accept it then at that time, it doesn't make sense at that time, go ahead and write that down so you go back to it later on. Okay, and let it be the same thing for your dream journal. A lot of you guys have dreams that tell you what you need to do, remind you of past lives, or even getting recipes of, of spell work that you should be doing. Okay, write those things down. Okay, change. Wind, 24, 6, harmony. Past lives, you've done this before. That's why it's so easy for you. It's so natural for you, but you think you're going crazy, baby, but it's a part of you. It's a part of you, my love. Just adapt, okay? You're having wind, you're having whispers in your ear telling you what's going on, what's popping off. We're in the age of Aquarius, so this is new to you. The energy of the earth is becoming much higher. The vibration is becoming much higher. The chosen are being called, and you're one of them, all right? Let go and allow, all right? Be like water, like Brucey e says, and be fluid. Become a master like you're supposed to in this lifetime. You'll have more peace if you go with the flow and not fight against it. You'll definitely have more peace, okay? Purity. Let this purify you. You're a fire sign. Go through the fire. Be purified and come out like gold. Be white like the light. 33, master number. Master yourself. Master who you are, who you're supposed to be. It's powerful when you do. It's powerful when you master yourself. And inhibitedly. Okay? What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? For mid August. Thank you so much. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, this might come out. Aqua Aura. Healthy communication and relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. So this coincides with, you know, other people putting their beliefs upon you. Telling you that's not right to be like that. It's the devil. It's evil. You shouldn't be like that. Okay, but have a heart to heart communication with them. Let them know. Be clear and assertive. Okay, it's gonna let other people understand who you are, what you're going through, how you're spiritually leveling up. Okay, 
even if they tend not to understand who you are at that time, you still planted a seed. You still planted a seed for them to think about. Okay. The other crystal card we have here is Rubulet, Passion and Purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's near and dear to you. You're the meaningful project, baby. You know you need to work on yourself to elevate spiritually. You know, you, you know, you know you have the intuition, you have the power to know what you're supposed to do. You know this is your passion, you know this is your purpose. Do so, find your tribe, find your people that you're supposed to be with. Find the people that's in your vibration so they can help you elevate, okay? Don't be around those who make you feel bad at who you are, okay? If they tell you something else than what you feel, you need to move on, okay? The next spiritual card is Opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You're guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side of the world. Be bold with it, baby. Don't be afraid to show who you truly are, all right? Let your light be shine. This little light of mine. You're the light, baby. Okay? Let it shine bright. Shine bright like a diamond. Do what you need to do. Shine bright, okay, Sag? You're the light that we need to see in the world. So don't be shamed. Keep leveling up spiritually. Okay? Alright. Let's see what other messages that we have. What other messages do we have for our fiery signs, Sagittarius, for men month August? Thank you so much, babe. Mm. Cycles of change. We have Capera here representing the the brain. Cycles of change. Planetary guardian. Spiral dancer. We have the number 10 right here, completion. So you guys are ending what you currently vibrate on and leveling up to go to the next level. Okay, you're leveling up spiritually. Let's go into the book. This is the Anubis Oracle book. Let's go into the book and see what it says because the book is like pretty dope. Okay, Capra is known as the becoming one. The ancient scrab, scarab beetle who pushes the solar orb above the horizon at dawn. It represents the gentle rays of the morning sun and is closely associated with creation and resurrection. He is a loyal guarder and protector of planet Earth and all her creatures. In tune with the cycle of life and cosmo, Capera ceaselessly works to bring forth the necessary change that allows creation to keep moving forward. As a spiral dancer who flirts who filters and transmits the powerful stellar and cosmic forces that radiate onto the planet and onto all the Earth's creatures. Capera migrates these energies while holding the balance of time between the ages in his feet. When this card is drawn, it is time to increase your awareness of the more subtle energies that are influencing you. You are encoding the mystery teachings of the spiral dance and the nature of change. And Capra is there to protect and support you during this quickening. It is through the inter intercession of Capra that you are able to handle the energies that are moving toward you at this given moment. Especially as you move off the linear path to a deeper relationship with the natural cycles of creation. With the heightened awareness that Capera offers you, you can become a co-creator of your universe. You are awakening to how transformation happens and being prepared for the next level of consciousness. If your situation requires protection, feel the energies of Capera surrounding and enfolding you, especially when you find yourself in a physical or emotionally toxic environment. Because Capraria is so closely aligned with the transits and alignments of the planets and the stars, it might be a good time to consult a seasonal astrologer and investigate to explore your current connection in your personal astrological chart. Ah, uh, Shay. Whew. I love how these cards always wrap up the reading. It's your time to elevate, baby. It's your time to shine. It's time for your spiritual evolution. It's time for you to be transformed. 
It's time. And you know it's time. That's why the cards laid out the way it did. And you have help from the universe. You have help from the spirit guides that are surrounding you. That's why your ancestors are on you. Giving you these sweet whispers. Giving you these downloads. Reminding you your higher self is reminding you of who you are in your past lives and your dreams. You know, you've been getting messages. Okay? They said, in that book it says you are the co-creator. There goes the, the co-creator energy right there. The magician, the master manifester, you can manifest whatever you want. You have the power to. It's in your hands. But like that book said, and like we said earlier, get out of the toxic energy and environment that is trying to hold you down to what they think you should be or what they think is right for you. You know what's right for you. Fuck all that other shit. You know what's right for you. To do so and act accordingly. Okay, keep leveling up spiritually. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. Get your journal, write down your meditations. Get your journal, write down your dreams. Get your journal, write down your downloads that you're having. All right, Sagittarius. All right, my love, that is your reading. If you find that this reading resonates with you, please leave me a like or a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. All right, let's talk to you soon. Peace. I'm so, I'm so